I'm sorry, I forgot. We were supposed to show you guys the new freaking, uh, and I'm parked right in the sun, it freaking sucks. But I was supposed to show you guys the new freaking um, shredding gel that I got. I think it's literally what it's called. Um, I, I will, I'll try to freaking remember tomorrow, or maybe I'll do it on the way home today. I don't, I'm not sure. It's been crazy. It's a crazy week. Um, Business-wise, you guys know personal training and whatnot, but um, it's just the holiday season. So this is the time of year where shit gets crazy. Uh, so it's just been, it's just been crazy, but, uh, still here for the chest day. I did get some good sleep last night, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I say it, not good, uh, better sleep. So I did get probably about six and a half, seven hours maybe. So I do feel better today. Um, you know, and it is a chest day, so can't really complain about much. Um, the agenda for the day is... I'm not fucking sure. I do know that I do want to be going a little bit more intense than I have been. Uh, especially today, because now I'm feeling a little bit better that I got some sleep. The past couple days, I've been kind of going a little bit easy because I've just been slacking on that sleep. Um, and I almost messed up last night again because I started putting on a podcast. And I just get, t I pay too much attention to podcasts when I'm going to sleep. And it messes with like my sleep because I'm paying attention. I'm not trying to go to sleep. Uh, so I ended up turning it off and I, I went to sleep. But it it's one of those things, guys, like if you're not focusing on your sleep, you're going to really struggle a lot when it comes down to like growing muscle, burning fat, having energy in the gym, having energy for day to day stuff. Like you really need to focus on it. And anything less than six hours is really going to be a problem. So something I'm working on this week, I've got to make sure I focus on that uh, and not get distracted. But let me go ahead and get inside and get warmed up for this freaking chest day. It's going to be awesome. All right, so the way we're going to go about this one today is I was looking at a flex wheeler workout plan the other day, and uh, I don't know if you guys know who that is. If you haven't, go back and look. If you've been in the game for a little bit, you know exactly who that is. Uh, the dude is huge, and he had like a five-day split I was looking at. I'm actually considering doing it for the winter bulk, but what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of take that flex wheeler workout style and kind of apply it to today's chest day. I'm not gonna do what he had put down, but what I am gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do some high volume, but also kind of working with like high sets. Like we're doing a high volume already with the sets and the reps, but like I've been doing a lot of like four sets of stuff, three sets of stuff. We're gonna do everything for six exercises for eight sets. That's what we're gonna go with today. That's kind of, just kind of based off of what I was looking at from his workout program. It's somewhere along those lines. And then I'm gonna also have to throw in some abs too. So we're gonna have to make it relatively quick. That being said, I'm gonna keep an eye on the rest times a little bit more. So we're looking more at like 45 second rest times than like two minutes. So bear with me on that one. But let's try and get this shit going. <sighs> And we might even do sets of 12, I don't know. Now another thing again, I've been kind of keeping my head forward, especially when I go down on these, it really helps. Get a good squeeze. I'm not gonna lie, I lost count. <laughs> That's okay. Here, let me uh, move you guys out of the way a little bit. I kind of put you all in front of the dumbbells. Getting lost in the sauce here. I went up in weight, and part of me is sitting here going like, is that a good idea? <laughs> Let's fuck it. I, uh, I keep forgetting that the rest times are a lot shorter, so. <sighs> I wasn't thinking that whenever I pumped the weight up. I was just thinking, oh, we need more weight. That'll be fine. We're we'll gonna stick to 10. <clears throat> One for good luck. I will tell you all this though. <sighs> We're sticking with that. God, 
God, I keep forgetting about that 45 second break, dude. <sighs> it's not the way it's bad, it's just like, I just know the rest is gonna fuck me up. is getting me. <sighs> oh, shit. All right. Drop set. All right, I want at least six more. That's the way you get up with that, by the way. I'm doing a fucking sit up like I did. All right. Ooh, okay. I just gotta ride that wave. Come on. Ooh, I almost fucking fell off of that thing. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. No, 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 no. We're gonna drop set. What am I talking? Oh my god. <laughs> that was involuntary by the way. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Whoa. Well wasn't that crazy. Anyways, <laughs> let's move on. I'm gonna get let's get the peck deck going, man. I can do eight sets of peck deck. Alright, so I'm uh try and just jump into this set since like I said we're trying to keep it 45 second break and this last one was pretty long considering the fact I was setting you guys up so main thing here keep that head forward oh that's heavy shit two three four five six uh, 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 uh. yeah I definitely feel uh and you can visually probably see it too, like my chest contracting a lot more when my head's forward like that. I'm gonna do that from, from now on is do my uh, pec deck flies like that. And honestly, probably just every chest exercise from now on like that, like it is a significant, I'd say the best thing about it is the stability. I just feel way more stable, which is what it's supposed to do in the first place. So let me add some weight. Just based off of what I saw in the mirror. I mean, I'll do it for you all again. We're gonna have one hell of a chest pump today. I ate, I think eating most of my calories right after my morning cardio and then having protein shakes for the rest of the day is the fucking move. Reason being is I'm getting all the carbs for the day before my workout, before my lifting. It's, it's the bee's knees. I've been doing that recently. Or I did that today, you know, and yesterday. We'll see how that does. But I think yesterday, since I did it yesterday, this is what got me through the workout. I think y'all remember, like yesterday I said I was feeling terrible or I didn't get enough sleep and I was feeling that, but like other than that, I was feeling good. I think that's why, so. I'm feeling that more, that extra weight, but I know I can do more. I think what I'm gonna do next is uh, the, uh, probably the tricep dip machine. I won't record that. You guys have seen me do that like 300 times, uh, but I love it. So we're gonna do some more of that. 
which is why I wasn't worried about triceps the other day too. But after that, I think what we'll do is the incline, uh, I don't know what you want to call that thing, but hammer strength, incline hammer strength press. Whew. All right, let's get this going. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to stay there. That's, that's plenty of weight. I'm going to be a little baby bitch and drop it to 100 and we're going to do a set of 25 even if we have to do a drop set we're getting 25 giddens in <sighs> whoop a lot lighter than that Nine, ten, uh, oh my god, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, eight, 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 nine, twenty, twenty-one, oh my god, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25. Oh my God, that was fucked. Oh man, oh my God, that was disgusting, dude. <sighs> God, <sighs> fuck my nervous system up. Okay, I'm gonna go get these. Uh, you know what? Actually, nah. Let's go ahead and get these triceps dip machines in. Then. I'll Get those incline, whatever the fucks. Okay, this is the last one we're gonna do on camera. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little pose out, check out what it's looking like, because I feel like we got a pretty sick one. Um, and then I'm gonna finish up back out here with some abs and some, actually some cable flies. I think it's gonna be on the agenda. Ab wise. Hmm. Actually, maybe some, uh, maybe some kettlebell windmills, or uh, kettlebell halos. I haven't done those in a little bit and they'll sound, I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. They sound good, good. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> All right, let's get these going. I'm getting tired, bro. It's starting to hit me. That was set number uh, six. Yeah, that was set number six. I didn't think about that one. I want to drop the weight down for these last two sets, just so I, I really want to like control on that way down. I think negatives are going to be very useful at this point. <clears throat> My uh, chest is feeling pretty swollen. I'm not going to lie. Uh, really controlling my negative here uh, oh my god oh more at least okay something about that felt different oh up in here oh Let's try that. Give that one a little bit longer break. We'll try that again. All right, last set. Let's take our time. Oh, God. <laughs> Hit me like a fucking ton of trucks, dude.
I'm done. <laughs> I feel like a zombie. Okay. Let me get a drink of water and let's go check out this juicy pump. Bro, I swear, every time I come in here, it looks darker. I don't know why. Maybe it's just back in this corner, it's really dark. I don't know. Let's see how it's looking. I, have, I feel like I'm gonna reach my arms right now. Not too shabby, dog. Not too shabby. Uh, I've been using that skin tightening cream. Can y'all tell? It's only been two days. <laughs> now I'm I'm sure after you know maybe by like New Year's we'll be seeing some differences here. It doesn't definitely doesn't feel as tight or as as loose right here. I, I'm 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 catching into the placebo effect. Okay, but listen, listen. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fully fall into the placebo effect. I'm gonna let myself do that. Because, hey, what's the worst thing about that, huh? That I feel like I look good? Hey, that's not a bad thing. It's a wonderful chest pump. Let's give it a, a good front double by real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to start figuring out a uh, way to start practicing posing. Cause I wanna, I wanna take y'all along for that journey too. Cause I've never really, I've done some basic posing. And he puts some of that skin tightening cream right there. That's loose skin. I can feel that. Like there's fat in there, but not enough to fill up that much skin right there. Yeah, so you can kind of see it when I do that. Weird, weird. Oh yeah, you can see my abs just by sitting there. That's cool. That wasn't there at the beginning. Well, how do I do this? Like this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice that. Oh, chest is looking big though. Uh, I just need to learn some different poses and stuff and you know, keep working on those lower abs, fill in this area a little bit because that's just, you know. <laughs> I think that just is loose skin, I don't know. When it does stuff like this, like look at that. That's gotta be loose skin, right? I'm not just crazy. It feels weird. <laughs> Cause I can feel the abs. So I feel like the, the bumps going over and I can feel the, like I can feel the layer of skin between my muscle and my fingers. It's just a weird feeling. Well, anyways, <laughs> stop looking at that. Let's look at the back. I always forget to check the back. Even though it's like my best feature. Let's get a side, front side chest. Let's do it from the other side. See how it looks. See how it looks better. Let's we'll start with that. Which do y'all like more? Let me know in the comments. How's that for a call to action, huh? Oh, that just hurts my lats. <laughs> I gotta learn how to like, I guess you do flex your lats when you do that. Come more from a bottom up. I feel like that's almost more of a lat a lat spread than a chest flex, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm flexing my chest as much as I'm stretching my lats. 
Maybe that's just because they're tight. Oh. Dang, that's a crazy fucking muscle. I don't know. I need to do some stretching. I can feel a lot of tightness in my back, in my traps from doing so much, uh, you know, lat focus work. Yeah, right up here is where I need to build. I'm trying to figure that part out. It's kind of hard. Maybe if we do some side pressing, I don't know. I still got some stuff I can do. Maybe I'll do some low to high, or maybe. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But I'll see y'all in the car. Boy, we gotta do something about these car vlogs, man. I think they're boring as fuck. I'm with y'all, I get it. I don't like them either. We're gonna do something different. Um, let me game plan on that. Uh, Cause at the very least, I still wanna get these out to you. Sometimes if I don't do this, I completely forget, especially when I switch my routine up. Uh, but I want maybe I should start like uh, just doing the meals, you know, my pre and post workout meal. Um, and then we can do a, a talk then. I think that's almost a better idea uh, cause I'm not like rushing around. Uh, if I'm sitting down for a meal, I'm sitting down for a meal. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Maybe we'll do that next time. Tomorrow for back, I think we're going to get some, uh, I was thinking about doing deadlifts, but I think what we're going to do, I know this sounds crazy, but I think we're going to do some sumo squats on leg day. Um, sumo squats being like the, the idea of working on glutes for the anterior pelvic tilt. Um, cause again, something I need to work on anyways. That can be like our compound exercise for the lift. And then um, maybe hammer down some, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I wanna get some unilateral stuff. So maybe some step ups or lunges. We really need to do some reverse lunges. It's been a minute. What, what am I doing? What am I thinking? Back day tomorrow. I'm thinking about leg day three days from now. Holy shit, my brain, dude. Whoo, well, that, that was a crazy chest day, by the way. That was a really good chest pump. Best workout of the week so far, um, so I'm pretty happy about it. I'm just worn the fuck out. So that's a good thing. I need to focus on getting some more good sleep tonight because that's definitely the solution to my problems. But tomorrow, um, I don't really know, man. <laughs> I really don't know what I want to start with. That's the thing. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll start off with some like just bent over rows. You know, I haven't done some solid. Just we did some pendulum rows last time. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to think on it. Um, think about what, maybe I'll look up, uh, again, I, I, one of the themes I've been kind of following is like looking up old school bodybuilders and kind of following, seeing what their workouts are like, uh, for one to switch it up, but two, just to kind of get a different outlook on, you know, hitting that muscle group. Uh, so maybe I'll look up like a flex wheeler back day or, um, uh, you know, I've done a lot of Arnold stuff. So I think Arnold's like the only one I'm going to skip. I know he's the most popular, but I literally have like both of his books. Uh, I say both of his books. I think it's the same book. I can't remember. I'll have to pull those out. I do have two of his books <laughs> for sure. Uh, but I'll look, I'll do some research. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.